In today's video we're going to see about right ventricular outflow tract stenting. In tetralogy of phallic patients, right ventricular outflow stenting are used to palliate a wide variety of congenital heart lesions with tetralogy of phallic physiology. RVOT stenting procedures were performed under local anesthesia. Patient received 50 international units of heparin per kilogram and standard antibiotic prophylaxis. After getting the venous access, the procedure of stenting in RVOT includes aotogram to look for close proximity of RVOT to coronary arteries. Right ventriculography in antero-posterior and lateral view and measurement of length of RVOT and diameter in systole and diastole to decide stent length and diameter. To look for any supravalvular stenosis. If present, then stenting across pulmonary annulus and beyond stenotic area was considered. Placement of exchange wire to branch pulmonary artery. Placement of long sheath or guide catheter over the wire. Placement of stent with side arms injection for checking position of stent. The pre-mounted stent over a balloon was inflated manually with indeflator up to the prescribed nominal pressure. The image shows the post-stenting area of the RVOT. 